Well, the story goes, um, you know, I was pestering my father going, I want to play club cricket because I used to drive past boys on the weekend. And so uh, I uh, got dad to join me in the local boy side and I was in the under 10. So I guess I was about nine years of age and, you know, thoroughly enjoyed it, even though it was with the boys. Back then, there wasn't too many young girls playing club cricket in, in, in the suburbs, uh, but the passion, you know, really allowed me to, to get out there and kind of mix it with the guys. Well, look, the fact that um, there were a lot of the guys that were in my uh, primary school, uh, they were a little bit older than me, uh, but it was it kind of allowed me to, to mingle with kids at school because I started to play with them after school. Um, so all of a sudden I was allowed to play in the uh, lunchtime cricket game, uh, whereas before I wasn't. Uh, and like I said, I, I was able to fit in probably a little bit more. I think by, by being involved in the local clubs you start to learn of different people that, that live around your area uh, and it's not just totally school based, um, you can have friends through all different sports and, and that brings, it educates you on, on different cultures, uh, different personalities um, and it, I think it teaches you some valuable lessons. My father being Indian, you know, he's passionate about cricket and uh, we'd always talk about what's going on with the Aussie men. But as soon as I started to play cricket, we started to kind of go over my performance or the team's performance um, around the dinner table. Um, Mum used to add her, her subjective uh, bits that she noticed, that's if she actually watched the ball. Um, but, you know, it was a lot of fun and, and like I said, they, they enjoyed it a lot. They, they met a lot of friend, friends through it as well. It brings everyone together. Um, they're willing to look after the facilities in their local grounds. Um, you get the volunteers that make the cupcakes and, and you know, you really can start to build a community or a club atmosphere. And it really allows everyone to come together and do things positively for the area. Sport is the type of thing you have to persi persist with, but if you're passionate enough, you, you can improve. And, and it doesn't matter if you're good or bad, you still meet friends. And, and I think that's the main thing, that you, you start to build some good friendships through sport. I've gone to a couple of presentation, and I guess, afternoons. Uh, supposedly there's an award named after me. I thought you had to be old and, and possibly close to being on your deathbed, but they've uh, named a trophy after me. And also I'm the patron of the Hornsby Karingai uh, Association, the association I played in. So, you know, I do have an association still with, with my club and that association, and, you know, I really enjoy it. And, and he, I enjoy seeing the young girls come through. At the moment I'm uh, with the under 15s uh, New South Wales side and one of the girls has played in the local area where I grew up so it's nice to see them come through. I'd like to think that you know those coaches involved in my early years have been able to see me develop and go hey look I've, uh, I've managed to, to help uh, play a role in, in her career and you know those early days are vital. Those coaches in, you know, in the under 10s, 12s, 13s are important to the development of any cricketer. Yeah look it, it is important. Uh, if we didn't have volunteers we wouldn't have the Australian cricketers. You know like I said we've all come through the grassroots level uh, and if it wasn't for the volunteers we wouldn't get on the park. Um, so you know I, I do encourage any, any girl or boy or, or the parents you know if, if your son or daughter isn't playing you can still get involved and, and help out and, and you can be part of that community whether you play or not.